Hi, my name is Natalia Morandeira and this talk is called Obtaining Reproducible Reports on Satellite Hotspot Data During a Wildfire Disaster. First, some background on the environmental topic. More than 20% of South America is covered by wetlands, such as the large floodplain wetlands of the Amazonas, the Orinoco and the Paraná River. In 2020, the Paraná River floodplain was extremely dry and extended fires affected at least 300,000 hectares in the Paraná River Delta in Argentina. To monitor wildfires, satellite thermal hotspots can be used. The physical background behind this data is that Earth's emissivity in the thermal infrared can be related to surface temperature. Thermal hotspots are very hot pixels that are probably related to active fires and fire hotspot products are shared by the NASA and are freely accessible. Sensor resolution needs to be taken into account. If you have an active fire, such as uh, this one in the, in the picture, with a low resolution sensor, you may detect few hotspots, each one corresponding to a large hot area. And with a medium resolution sensor, more hotspots can be detected, each one corresponding to a smaller area. Here I'm presenting a workflow with reproducible analysis related to a spatial data simulation and to obtain bilingual reports. Last year, to monitor this on fire situation, we need to repeat quick analysis to update information for peers and journalists. And although the lockdown and the fires prevented us from conducting field work, we had satellite information and our experience in the study area. The fact that we need to repeat the same analysis once and again motivated us to generate this workflow. So if you are an end user, you only need a polygon layer of your study area. Next, you need to download the CIPED firm's NASA data and save them in a specific folder in your R project. And finally, you need your project. Several steps are involved in the workflow, such as reading and unzipping the files, uh, creating a spatial objects, looking for string patterns, merging the spatial objects, objects uh, reprojecting and clipping the spatial objects to the study area, obtaining an interactive map and exporting the uh, point layers to geopackage. Geo also, data tidying and plot generation are involved. And finally, you can obtain a report in English or in Spanish in just two minutes. To illustrate this workflow, I'm sharing some results on the 2020 Paraná River Delta fires. This is an interactive map showing the beers hotspots in the Paraná River Delta. Next, you obtain a plot on the daily hotspots and the cumulative number of hotspots. And you also obtain the number, the total number of hotspots in the year. You can also perform an historical uh, comparison of the fire activity using BIRS data or MODIS data, which differ in their um, sensor resolution and also uh, in the um, historical availability. With MODIS data, we observed that the number of hotspots recorded in 2020 were the highest since 2008. Future work will involve an analysis of the relation between the historical fire activity and agroclimatic trends, and also estimation of burned areas. Thanks for your attention. Muchas gracias. Here are my contact details. And I also want to recommend the Rio Dentro project by Sebastián López Brach, whose pictures I'm sharing in my slides.